Well, folks, welcome to the jungle. No, nah, not really, but it's a good intro and a good segue into what we have here. And what you see there is the all new Kia Sportage or Sportage, as they say in Asia. Um, and uh, I've got to say, um, this is a great looking car, better than what you may have seen in uh, photos on carexpert.com.au. Uh, or any other website for that matter. Um, and uh, let, let's have a sort of walk around from front to front to rear. Now, I really like what they've done here. If anything, that last fourth generation, because this is a fifth generation model, started in 1993, so come a long way, this brand. In fact, they're killing it. Uh, they killed it with the Seltos, the small SUV, and now uh, I suspect this will do some big numbers for them and uh, really crank it up against the... Uh, uh, sister car, the Hyundai Tucson, which I believe this is a better looking car all round. I'll tell you why, because the Tiger Nose grille that I didn't really uh, love in the fourth generation Sportage because of the sort of cutesy pie um, Tiger Nose grille, they've tidied this up enormously and you've got sort of three materials. You've got the uh, boot material, uh, you've got the uh, other sort of, sort of plastic shiny, um, piano black looking stuff, and you've got this uh, silver garnish, and uh, no longer do you have that sort of cutesy pie look. This is a uh, very masculine look, and I should say the welcome to the jungle was in fact uh, because of the fact that this colour, and there are five new colours for Sportage, I digress, I know, and I'm pretty uh, now renowned, renowned for that, to be honest, but um, this is jungle wood green, which is why I made that intro and I should have uh, carried on with it, but um, there it is. Um, that Tiger Nose grille, uh, 360 degree camera below that, radar, um, adaptive radar, cruise control, and um, below that, so all the modern tech is in this car. Uh, so without the, you know, the benefit of motor shows these days, consider this a uh, first look or reveal of the new Kia Sportage, new logo, of course, up there. And um, all this sort of garnish here in black. I mean, it looks a lot more masculine than the previous car did. You've got the uh, boomerang style DRLs, even more accentuated than on the, uh, the uh, Hyundai Palisade, if I can say that. Because uh, this does share the platform with the new Santa Fe and the new Tucson. Uh, and as you can see, it's a much bigger car than it was before. There, the um, indicator lights. Uh, they don't, uh, they're not uh, animated, uh, which is a shame. Uh, and there's more sort of boomerang look there and uh, headlights, fog lights down there. And uh, DRLs, of course. And uh, get to the side. I'll go the other side, actually, because of the sun. And... Uh, you can see how how long this vehicle is. It's uh, really a big mid-sized SUV these days. And um, I like all the garnish down here. And they've uh, got that sort of uh, that silvery garnish down here again. Uh, painted black down or black plastic down here. But it's really done very, very tastefully. Um, futuristic uh, wheel choice there. And I love what they've done here with the C-pillar. Or a bit back from the C pillar there, and uh, we've got this sort of down here, this sort of uh, jewelryfied look down here, which really breaks this uh, expanse or and gives it volume. This line here down here gives this whole thing volume and some appeal that it probably didn't have before. But again, it's still very clean. And if we come around to the rear, which is my favourite part, I always thought the uh, fourth generation looked good too, right through till really and now um and it still looked very clean uh as you can see it's really really good looking where i think the tucson is very busy at the uh, rear end i love the new logo um i can't get enough of that and um uh great led head great led tail lights the only problem is that this doesn't light up i don't think um and that would be great so i think it lights up on the stinger um it doesn't light up on the sportage so i think animated uh, turn signals and uh, a nice, uh, you know, fully lit strip down here like Porsche seem to do on all their vehicles would look fantastic and I guarantee it'd be quite cheap. Um, you can't see the um, exhaust pipe that's hidden under there on the right side. Uh, if we open this up, actually, actually before we do that, um, going to uh, do something that I love doing with all cars. I've just locked it. 
and I'm going to hopefully remote start it. There we go. Fully started on your remote. It's by pressing that button there that looks uh, with a small sort of start sort of key there. And uh, we can hop in, but before we do hop in, I'm going to show you the rear luggage space because it is substantial and it's of course uh, auto tailgate on the GT line which is the top spec of uh, this one is and the 1.6 litre turbo you can also get a 2 litre turbo diesel and a uh, naturally aspirated 2 litre engine the entry spec now you've got uh, full size spare and plenty of room to put stuff either side now I suspect you can uh, judging by this down here, this rail down here, suspect you can uh, have that full size spare deleted and uh, be able to lower the floor space. Because that is a giant floor space. I don't know what the um, uh, the liters are in the rear there, but I would suspect it's getting up near 600 or 600 even plus. It's absolutely huge. You've got LED lighting. Uh, you've got a 12 volt down here. You've got remote uh, down here. You've got on both sides. Uh, remote folding for the 60-40 seats and uh, they almost go flat I'm going to show you that uh, open that up there and we will get in very easily and you just push that down like so and you've got a relatively flat load space down there show you from the rear and if we take the uh, cargo blind out there as one always does uh, you can see how relatively flat that is and good for putting mountain bikes in tons of space in fact great wide aperture as you can see, as I stand back there and um, relatively flat for boards bikes any other um, exercise equipment that you uh, like to put in your car close that up and I'll push that back because all you do there is down here is hit that lever and push that back and uh, there is the rear again as I slide this uh, back into place and uh, cup holders of course and you've got uh, all sorts of stuff down here including uh, some good size rear air vents for anyone sitting back here and there's a ton of room back here um, that's not my driving position uh, but I'll show you how much room there is back there it's still a ton I'm going to hop in uh, and show you how much room there is because I can virtually tuck both feet right under and uh, I'm incredibly comfortable back here incredibly comfortable back here and I'll show you a quick look in the front there uh, but we'll get to that full-size panoramic sunroof in the GT line LED lighting up there USB-C port there and on the other side uh, so no arguments from kids um, luggage hook or something there and uh, good size proper mat pocket down there and they tell me a very large um, uh, coat hanger type uh, device with some uh, soft touch rubber in there to uh, not have things rubbing which is sensible and uh, I'll get out um, more piano, piano black plastic I'll show you about that in a minute uh, they've carried that sort of uh, boomerang look uh, throughout the theme throughout the car um, they're hard plastics on top, but everything else seems to be soft and I've noticed an exceptionally nice thing here is the Harman Kardon audio system and uh, you've got uh, alloy tread plates there uh, All sorts of good stuff and that um, sort of quilted look on the, all the uh, leather upholstery. I think it's leather Hope it's leather um, Seats there. That's the interior there um, All sorts of stuff here now hop in I'm going to slide this seat back a little bit and um, get in and uh, start this vehicle. And the starting is fantastic because no longer do we have a hidden button around here like so many cars still have. It's uh, the start button is on the console. We've kicked it over. And uh, a 12.3 inch driver's digital instrument display, which is configurable. Uh, tons of information on there. Uh, uh, sort of access by buttons here you can turn the lane guidance off very quickly which is always handy in the city um i really like these screens and there you uh, there you have the uh, sister 12.3 inch screen so get back and it's uh, massive uh, much like you get on um, the larger mercedes-benz vehicles uh, big 12.3 inch screens and uh, fantastically configurable 
you've got no longer do you have a shifter you have this uh, circular rotary dial which can shift into drive or back to neutral and uh, into reverse very simple and it's actually got some bit of feedback there a bit of uh, haptic feedback there i've just noticed the um fantastic uh, uh rear camera and uh, bird's eye view uh which is exceptionally clear as you do get with these glass screens and um really good thing here so before we get to that we've got uh the uh, ac buttons uh lined up there now if you hit that goes back to a uh, back to the infotainment menu um so it's just a matter of going to that and changing so no longer the need for multiple buttons i'm going to turn that down because it's uh, roasting in here and um you really like this now usb-c and a ports there with a 12 volt um non-stick rubber a uh, non-slip rubber down there which is great for phones and other stuff cup holders here which are large and uh, more space back there and of course they sent a console bin there uh behind the shifter you've got the uh, drive mode selector and the uh, locking diff lock um down there you've got the camera button here which is uh easily changed from the map uh, a few shortcut buttons down there uh, one thing i will say that um, there's all this piano black stuff and there's more here um, it's already marked up with my fingers now uh, not a big deal really but let's hope uh, a kia uh, supply you with a microfiber or some sort of cleaning cloth because that's going to be uh, a constant uh, nuisance if you uh, if it affects you that way steering wheel is good um three spoke a very sporty nice um circumference and diameter of the rim and uh, new logo again and uh, all this plastic here seems to be really upgraded in this silver um, garnish this metallic uh, accent it's all much better than it ever was uh on any kia so they've really lifted the quality i noticed that little window down there to uh um, make it easier to see turning into corners. There's one thing I did leave out that I want to show you uh, in a minute on the outside at the rear. But, uh, gee, everything is here. Everything is electronic. Um, uh, heated seats, cooled seats down there, which you'd expect on the top spec these days. I'm going to get out now because um, I'm in park. Yep, that's good. And I'm going to show you one thing I did leave out, and I wanted to show you this incredibly... Uh, uh, first thing I wanted to show you back here was the fact that the, the cleanliness of this design because the, uh, of course, the rear wiper is hidden up there. They're completely hidden, uh, as you can see. And I think that uh, makes for a fantastic clean uh, uh, rear of the new Sportage. It really looks great back there. Uh, certainly less busy than its sister car too. So I'm a huge fan of this already and I've spent about an hour with it today. Uh, haven't driven it, um, but as I said, 1.6 turbo, uh, the top spec GT line. You've got a two litre turbo diesel, which they tell me is absolutely brilliant and drives fantastic. Um, and you can see those DRLs now. This is bright sun and they are lit. They are lit up like, uh, wow, that's, uh, that's some LED. And uh, yeah, there we go. Um, that is the all new Kia Sportage. Hopefully coming to a showroom near you soon and um, uh, consider this a first look. And uh, yeah, I think this will be on the shopping list of plenty, plenty of families. See ya.